Oh, am I excited today. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on back to Touched by Kai. I'm Kai, and today, we're back in Blender EV once again. 2.9, and 2.9 has motion blur. That's right, I said motion blur. If you're an OG on my channel, you know that my thing has always been motion blur. I love motion blur so much, and you can see it's right there. Now, I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to go and quickly hit zero on our keyboard to go into front, go into the camera's view, sorry, not front-facing view. I'm going to hit uh, G to grab our default cube, and hit S to scale it down, and I'm just going to create a very small animation. I'm just going to hit I to insert a location keyframe. Go ahead, about five frames, and hit G, put it right there, hit I, location. And as you can see, uh, the default cube just kind of moves really fast over there. I'm also, just because I don't like the way that it looks, I'm going to change the frame rate to 60 as well, so it's even faster. Um, but you can see, there we go, looks good. And I'm also going to do, uh, no, I'm, we'll just do the one, we'll do the one, because uh, I don't want to like render something for forever today. So, that's what we're going to do, it's super quick animation, it's not even an animation, I'm going to put the in frame on 20, and uh, you can see it just kind of goes across super fast. Now, if we were to go ahead and render this the way that it is, you can see that uh, there's no motion blur, there's no nothing, it's, uh, it's not moving. It's supposed to be having motion blur right now, but it's not. Because we have to actually check check the tick box right there. And you can see now, if I would go ahead and render this, you can see that it now has motion blur. Oh, yes. It's back. And I'm very excited because Eevee didn't have motion blur. And uh, you can see we have a couple properties here, a couple things we can play around with. We have stutter, background separation, max blur, and steps. Uh, background separation, I believe I spoke about this in my 2.9 video. If I put it on zero, it kind of just makes it so that everything's like super, like it's just one single motion blur thing but i put it all the way up on like let's say just let's just do 10. uh if i put it on 10 is that what, what did it start on 10? i don't remember what it started on it might start on 10. let's do 100 just to be crazy uh 100 looks practically the same don't really need to worry about that i'll just leave it on 10 because it's fine the way that it is max blur the maximum blur distance the pixel can spread over is what it said so let's go ahead and see let's get a nice little view of what this is actually going to do uh, so I'm looking, I'm, look, I'm seeing, I'm looking for some stuff here. Now let me, let me put it down to zero actually, because the max blur is probably fine the way that it is already. By the way, let me just uh, not zero. Let's do two instead, instead of zero. Oh, well, even two is too much. I think uh, this is gonna be, yeah, we'll just leave it on what it was, which was 32, I believe. Um, that's fine the way that it is. We don't need to change that. The steps as well. This is just gonna make it like clearer. Um, Controls actually motion blur. More steps means longer render time. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just uh, leave that on one because it's fine the way that it is. And stutter, the main event, I suppose, as you would keep it, it's it's kind of how uh, how long the motion blur tail is. So if I put this down on like 0 0.03. You can see that the motion blur tail is super short, um, more realistic, I suppose. But if I put this all the way up on one, the motion blur tail will be really really long, as you can tell. The default, I believe, is 0.1, which is what it was on, but I want to, actually, I think it's, is it, is it 0.5? I think it might be, yeah, it's 0.5. We're going we're gonna to leave it on 0.1, I, th I think that's what I like doing. Yeah, 0.1 looks really good. Um, might be a little bit too much for some specific projects, but for right now, we'll leave it on 0.1. Now you can see, I just absolutely love this, and that is pretty much it. I can also do rotation motion blur, so I'm going to do that real quick, and we're going to just do like that, and maybe something like that. There we go. We got a little bit of rotation motion blur in there as well. Let me actually move uh, this back. And maybe we'll do like a separate rotation, like another one right here as well. Just crazy rotation. Uh, and take a look at that real quick. But yeah, there is our motion blur. I'm just so happy. I don't even know what to say. Like, I really missed motion blur. That is it for today's motion blur tutorial. I will see you, ladies and gentlemen, in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.